kitchen, a boiling kettle, a flask, that can only mean one thing, I'm going fishing. It's a very windy day out there. I've just got the stuff in the car and the gusts are almost 50 miles an hour, 48, 49, and it feels like that at times. But the angling show goes on. You choose your spots carefully, obviously, in any adverse weather conditions, especially when it's windy. But as long as your bait's in the water, you've always got a chance. And as long as your hot water is in the flask, and you've got four tea bags and some milk. And I say that because there's been times in the past when I've forgotten to put the tea bags in or the milk. And as long as that's there, then you can have a cup of tea. And I'm just looking for the, the cap and the cup. There you go. Screwed in, screwed on. Let's go. I'm in from the off, a small roach. I needed the forceps on that one just inside the fish's mouth. You can see how small it is compared to the forceps themselves. No forceps or disgorger needed on this occasion, but they are important items of tackle, so always carry them in your bag, especially when you're fishing with maggots. A third fish, nice enough for the venue, but I would like something bigger. catching lots of fish this size. I'm not showing them all to the camera, but not too bad when you consider that it is the winter and I'm on a pool. It's just nice to catch something, isn't it, sometimes? If something big turns up, that's great. If not, no problem.